We're good? Okay. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining this morning. Uh, my name is Maya Rios, and I am a legal and advocacy assistant with the ACLU of Southern California's Bakersfield office. We're a member of the Rapid Response Network, TURN. The Rapid Response Network has called this conference to bring awareness to the outbreak that is currently, COVID outbreak that is currently happening inside of Mesa de Detention Facility. A letter was sent to the Kern County Public Health Department this week. It outlines specific inquiries that need to be resolved and a request for them to intervene and ensure that Mesa Verde is in compliance with local public health requirements. In addition to the requested action of the Public Health Department, we are also calling on our local and state elected officials, elected officials to respond to this life-threatening health emergency. We see this public health issue as not just an issue affecting those detained within Mesa Verde, but our community at large here in Kern. Via the Mesa Verde staff who is going in and out of the facility during this COVID outbreak, some of which have tested positive for COVID-19. When COVID-19 spreads in these facilities, the ICU beds in the neighboring communities are impacted. Kern County is an under-resourced county in this state. Kern County has also been placed on Governor Newsom's watch list because it has not met state benchmarks for reducing the spread of this virus. In addition, experts believe that the true number of infected individuals in our county may be higher than that which data currently shows. This morning, you will hear from a few different voices, including a formerly detained individual from within Mesa Verde, Carolina, who will share her experience being detained within Mesa Verde, as well as a longtime community advocate, Jeannie Parent, who has been supporting immigration detainees within our community. In my capacity with the ACLU, 